What's going on? Louise here with one more Hyper Mesh tutorial. Today we'll begin with the geometry tutorials. One more step towards practical things. And we'll look at the HM2000 importing and repairing CAD. It's very common to make the geometry of your model in a CAD software and then import it to HyperMesh to build the mesh and then do your finite element analysis. But sometimes the imported geometry comes with some topology errors and oftentimes you have to simplify it in order to achieve a better mesh. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get to it. First, we import our file. It is the clip underline repair dot hm. So we're going to try to repair any er errors the model may have. We check the geometry color is in auto mode. Then in the geom page, click the auto cleanup panel. And that makes the edges colored according to their topology status. So let's understand what these colors mean by opening the visualization options in this icon. Check just the free edges, which are the red ones, and they show where we might have missing connectivity or gaps. A closed loop of free edges indicates uh, either a hole or a missing surface. Now check only the non-manifold box, the yellow one, and they show edges where more than two surfaces share an edge, which might be something like a T connection or duplicate surfaces sometimes. The suppressed edges are those that you have suppressed on purpose for some reason, and the green ones are the shared edges between two surfaces. Check back all of the boxes, go back to the model tab and click on return to exit the auto cleanup panel. Turn the shaded visualization mode on to make our next steps easier. So let's start repairing the mistakes. Zoom in on this corner, um, open the delete panel and select serves. Make sure the serves selector is active and try to select this overhanging corner right there. Um, what happens is that this corner is not separated from the surface, so we'll have to first split that through this edge. So exit the delete panel, go to the surface edit panel, choose trim with lines. In the with lines column, select surfs and click on that surface. Select surf edges and click on the rounded edge. Then set normal to surface and trim. Now we can go ahead and delete that. But if we check the typology in the auto cleanup panel, we see that this edge is actually free, but it's not, but it is supposed to be shared. Um, this indicates that one of the um, surfaces is not sharing that edge. And to correct it, we have to return, go to the quick edit panel, select toggle edge, and click on that edge. Now it turns green, green and the status bar says the gap has been closed. Uh, toggle edge is a great option for closing small gaps. But if the model is missing an entire surface, then another method must be used, such as a filler surface. So we go to the surfaces panel, then spline filler, uncheck the keep tangency and keep line endpoints options, and check the auto create one. With auto create, we need to select only one free edge of a closed loop and HyperMesh will take care of the rest. Now let's set the global geometry cleanup tolerance to 0 0.01. So go to preferences over here, geometry options. In cleanup tolerance, 
type 0 0.01 and that means that from now on it will stitch surfaces with a gap lower than that so click return um, imagine now you wanted to combine all three edges uh, at once so could we do that uh, yes using the equivalence tool so go to the edge edit panel in the equivalence sub panel select all surfaces verify that the tolerance is 0 0.01 and quick equivalence hypermesh closes all gaps smaller than the tolerance but we still have some above that that we gotta take care of so let's use the toggle option again increase that tolerance to 1 and toggle this edge and this edge now let's try another method um, select the replace sub panel and show the view 2 from the model tree so right click and then show with the moved edge line selector active click the leftmost edge then with the retain edge uh, sorry, retain edge line selector, select the rightmost edge, change the tolerance to 0.2 and click re replace. Click yes and it replaces the edges. Now click return. Instead of looking for every duplicate surface we may have, go to the, the feature panel, then duplicates. Select all surfaces and click find. The status bar displays it has found two duplicate surfaces, so go ahead and hit delete. Now let's give it a last check. Change the geometry visualization mode to by topo, and all of the edges should be green, and they are, showing that we have a completely enclosed solid and we are good to work with it. So this was it for the HM2000, we have learned a lot about checking the consistency of our geometry and it is a mandatory step before anything else. So stay tuned for more, remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.